So, ladies and gentlemen, we are here with the last retrogression of Mercury for the year 2020, and it has entered the sign of Libra, the sign of Venus. And my eyes are here in drikpanchang.com. So, when did it enter Libra exactly? 22nd September. This is per German time, 1:35 p.m. Tuesday. This Tuesday it entered. And it will enter Scorpio on November 28th. Wow, more than two months. Incredible. And when is he going retrograde? 14th October, he's going retrograde. And he's going progressive on November 3rd. Almost quite some days, 20, 21 days. Interesting. Morning retrograde 6.34 a.m. progressive on 11.19 p.m. German time. Yes. Oh, this is New Delhi time. <laughs> so in Europe, it will be in the morning of 14th October and evening of 3rd November, right? Now, this is a very incredible transit. Why do I say this? Because if you see what happens is Mercury and Venus, they are very peculiar planets. They are friends, but uh, they may not like each other's exaltation and debilities and signs, which means one gets exalted where the other gets debilitated. Like, for example, Mercury gets exalted in Virgo and gets debilitated in Pisces. The opposite for Venus, Venus gets exalted in Pisces and he gets debilitated in the sign of Virgo. So, therefore, this is a very interesting transit if you want to study the energies of both Mercury and Venus. And many times when Mercury transits the signs of Venus, what's happening is Venus is becoming the dispositor of uh, Mercury. Okay? So in this case, and here it's even more prominent because Venus uh, has Libra as its smooth icon sign. So therefore, the transit of Mercury will strongly affect Venus and the transit of Venus will affect Mercury. Okay. Now, uh, after some time, uh, when Venus reaches Virgo, that is almost around a month from now, more than a month, I would say, five weeks. Uh, that time, you will see the flavor of this transit more. Okay. So, from the end of... Uh, end of October approx because then they will be in Parivartan Yoga. So Mercury will be in the sign of Venus and Venus will be in the sign of Mercury. So what happens when there is Parivartan Yoga in transit? During Parivartan Yoga in transit, see what Parivartan is. You think, oh, one planet is sitting in the other's house. It's like friends. I'm sitting in yours, you're sitting in mine. So we won't disturb each other, right? We think like that. But uh, at times, it may be like this or it may not be like that. Okay. But you have to know how to study this energy. Okay, so, for example, Venus will be in Virgo, in debility. And I'll make the Venus transit into Leo, which will happen very soon, uh, later. But uh, in this uh, context of Mercury, I'd like to say about Venus here first, because Venus is the Lord of Libra. Okay. And as usual, if you are new to the channel, then please subscribe to it below. And if you want a consultation, the link to my website is down below, exoticastrology.in. And yes, God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and he will be there to help you, even when Mercury is retrograde. <laughs> so this, this transit is also related to Venus. Okay, Venus is the dispositor of Mercury. So what does Venus Mercury signify? Mercury signifies our ability to think for ourselves. Yes, Mercury is a Rajasic planet, just like Venus. And Venus represents our ability to not only just be in this world, but to add value to our lives, to the lives of others, to us, ourselves, or to the lives of everybody indeed. Okay. Venus represents those things which, even if you do not have, you can still survive. You don't need them. But these are the things which if you have, then makes life a bit more worth living. Okay? 
either in the material realm or even in the spiritual realm, true for both the sides. So therefore, Venus is a great benefit. So now, um, Venus here is ruling Libra. So li you know what's Libra, right? Libra is the moon tricone, which means it is exactly that which Venus wants to do. Now, it may not be happy there at its peak because it goes to Pisces. But it's the agenda of Venus. The moon tricone sign of a planet is the prime agenda of that planet. So now what's Libra? What is Venus? Venus rules Libra, which means it's the sign of negotiation. Negotiation doesn't mean you're just sitting and negotiating. That's not what negotiation is. That is a mercurial negotiation. The Venusian negotiation is a bit different. Venusian negotiation is, I may not get a 50-50 negotiation. <laughs> I may get a negotiation which is 30-70. Okay? I get 30, you get 70. But sometimes you give me 70 and I give you 30. <laughs> Mercurial negotiation is 50-50. Either it's 50 for you, 50 for me, that's all. Maybe 41 or 51, 49, maybe at max. But not less than that. But Venus is not like this because Mercury represents the finance sector. Venus represents the uh, uh, sector for you know, love and romance. So, when you are dealing with relationships, then you cannot say that, okay, I have a relationship and we both are doing things equally. No, it will never happen. Sometimes you will always do things which the other person will not reciprocate and or may not be able to reciprocate. And sometimes uh, they may do and you may not reciprocate. Okay, But then do you still continue the relationship? So now this is the kind of negotiation which Venus does. So now when Mercury enters Libra, Mercury is by default the planet of negotiation. But when he enters Libra, he also tends to behave like a negotiation, negotiator, which uh, Venus is. Okay? So now in this sign, in during this transit, what happens? Mercury thinks, okay, now I may not get a good deal, 50-50. But what if I have a good relationship with this person? I may get a better, better deal later. <laughs> Okay, so that's how Mercury behaves in this sign. So then how do you know what happens at the end of the day? So for that, you have to check your dashas. What does your dashas indicate in the horoscope? And apart from that, you also need to check uh, uh, how is your Mercury in your birth chart. Okay, that will tell you how good of a negotiator you are. What about the third house? Where is your third lord? Is the third lord connected with the 11th house? or the 11th Lord is connected with the third Lord, okay, or the third house, either ways. So in that case, you can, you can understand things better from the other perspective, okay, from people's perspective, other people's perspective actually. Otherwise, uh, you may feel that uh, people say, this, this person doesn't understand me. You don't understand people, that's what people may complain sometimes. So during this transit of Mercury in Libra, you may see that the houses which Mercury rules uh, in your chart, they can go for a requirement for negotiating something. And this will happen more if, uh, if Venus is also somehow linked uh, with Mercury in your birth chart, okay? which means if Mercury Venus are together or they are in Parivartan or whatever or um, they are lording your ascendant even then this can happen this can happen more prominently for you or you are running venus or Mercury mahadasha then also this can be very prominent or there or even more prominent if you are like venus mahadasha Mercury antardasha okay, or Mercury venus something like this okay so therefore uh, during this transit you might make some deals for these two months which you may not like at this moment, which you may, which may give you a feeling that you are losing out. Okay? But remember, now you are not dealing like a, a businessman, you are dealing like uh, a spouse. So you have to understand that even if you have a client who is paying you good from a long time, but now the client may not be able to pay you, or any, any, anybody, you know, some friend may not be able to reciprocate, or even your spouse also. Okay? But then do you continue the deal or you break the deal? Okay. So my suggestion is do not break the deal depending on which house's market rules. 
So for example, if Mercury is your 10th Lord, you may have to do some negotiation regarding your career, which you may feel that you're losing out where, okay? But then uh, it will depend. Now, of course, it depends on your dashas. What will happen with either later on will you feel and when will you feel that your efforts have been reciprocated well? Or when will you feel that they have not been reciprocated well? Okay. So for that, you have to analyze your chart and dashas in detail. But what I can tell you overall in general is that this time, Mercury is not just in Libra. Remember, he is also retrograde. So therefore, whatever you are doing now, those things uh, will, will uh, give you a feeling that if at all, I would have done it better. So that, that means if you regret breaking a deal now if, if you break a deal now you might regret it later okay, during the retrogression phase so that's the best use of astrology that's the best part about astrology that we can uh, know when what is happening and then we can take the necessary steps to counter that or to deal with that i guess <laughs> you cannot counter anything but you can try to see how you can figure out some way around it so therefore this transit is very good because it will teach you how to go the go from uh, as they say you know, right beyond right because sometimes mercury is too much obsessed about being right but many times you need to be right beyond right because that right beyond right can actually make you much more successful in life in the long run okay? so the long run success of venus and that's why you see Venus represents committed relationships where one people, one person gets married to the other and they stay lifelong. So imagine what kind of a partnership that is. Amazing, right? But imagine the mercurial partnerships which you have. Business partners, okay, three months, six months, one year, ten years, and then we are gone. Bye-bye. So when Mercury enters Libra, especially Libra, it's a great time to behave as if you are like uh, you you and your team and your uh, group is like uh, married to each other yes it's you can understand it like that <laughs> how would you behave in uh, with your spouse that is that's how you can understand this and it will have different nakshatra like chitra then swati and then you will also have shaka nakshatra at the end so therefore, that's how you will understand what you should do when you analyze the nakshatras more. Okay? So more learn in detail about Chitra nakshatra, about Swati nakshatra, about Vishaka nakshatra. Then you will understand how this transit will be. And depending on your dashas, the final outcome will come. All right? Thank you very much for your patience and make the best decisions during this time. May not be the best, but good decisions. Okay, thank you very much for your patience and if you are new to the channel then please subscribe to it below and if you want to watch other videos on Mercury, I will put them here, alright? What is that with you? All the time just look to him and you will find him and if you are interested in a consultation with me, you can go to my website down below.